that definitely has man. The adaptation skill that this man has. Just, Good uh, stuff, you know, clean cut set. And I'm headed off. I'm gonna go take my 10th shot. Dwayne, it was a pleasure. Um, I'll good, definitely man. see you soon. Here's little Sammy. Sammy, go on the mic. You're not forced to stay out if you don't want to. But you're more than welcome to join me. You gotta, you gotta bring the mic to your mouth first of all. There you go. There you go. It's gotta be close to chewing it. It's the way that normally goes. So this is gonna be interesting. So this is gonna be like a third Sonic in a row that this man's gonna have to fight. So he kind of started off his US tour with uh, losing to Manny. And he just went through Will, and now he's gonna be fighting Wrath. Definitely a whole other level of Sonic that he's gonna be fighting right now. Wrath, absolute monster. But the thing, is, the main thing is that the Duckins they have in Georgia are absolute garbage. So. <laughs> um, How's gonna affect him exactly? Um, definitely gonna be hit with the matchup on familiarity. Be the main thing he's gonna have to worry about. Um, but I do believe Wrath has the smarts and uh, the presence of mind in order to turn this into his match. Let's see what happens. Let's see what words of wisdom Kiki's giving him right now. No idea what the hell he's saying to him, but no one's gonna laugh. I'm sure Raito has a lot of uh, Sonic matchup. Experience. Yeah, he has a pretty good amount. Yeah, he's uh, he's been able to beat Ken in the past. Um, you know, so he fought Manny. And he's fought Manny before. Uh, he hasn't really played against the top Sonics all too often. Uh, maybe back in the day, he might have played against Combo when he was like more main Sonic, but honestly, I can't really think of it. Um, yeah, no. Combo Sonic is a lot different than a lot of other Sonics because like he plays more patient. I think like he plays more or less aggressive than other Sonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would definitely say Wrath is kind of on that build too. Uh, of course, he's gotten a lot more aggressive since so like the days of timing out Mewtwo games for sure. But still, definitely a super patient, passive Sonic. And honestly, for this matchup, that's gonna hurt you. What you need to do is you need to abuse Sonic's sense of speed in order to get through these setups and to immediately punish him. And by not doing that. This matchup kind of runs away for Duck Hunt. And the other thing too is since Wrath is unfamiliar with it, there's probably a lot of things that Wrath is going to be able to abuse against him. Things like that. Got on him punishing that play pretty right there. There. Two. Oh, okay, try to tear right through that. Spin dash. We probably still have the invincibility on deck. Duck Hunt can probably, you know, place can and with the can. It's probably easier to hit Sonic because, you know. Besides yeah. matchup, I'm familiar with Yeah, no, so uh, one of the things, like, obviously, if you don't have the old cat, that's going to hurt you quite a bit. The other thing, too, is, like, Sonic doesn't have a safe approach option against Duck Hunt because of shield cam. Oh, okay, he had the he had it scouted out, but the thing was, the question was a little bit weird. Probably try to read um, a jump and uh, that's good that spin dash as well. Back throw. I'm not sure if that's going to do it just yet. Oh, no, that might be an SD. Yeah, yeah, he meant to reverse can there. So, a lot, of people, a lot of people say that Duck Hunt is the worst villager. I'm like, it's... No, not at all. Uh, the way that villager wants to control space is completely different from the way that Duck Hunt wants to. Um, Duck Hunt, you do... Uh, the way that you're able to place everything, you're, more, you're placing more of mines and space controlling. Uh, whereas Villager's kind of just like pelting you with projectiles. And like the main thing he's going to control space with is he's just trying to lock you down with Void or forcing you to jump with that. But Duck Hunt, he's got a lot more interesting things. Like the way that can works is you have to press B for it to be active. If uh, I don't press any buttons and you just run and uh, right through can, it's not going to hurt you at all. It's kind of like true in that respect. Um, so you have to press, you have to be conscious of pressing B that entire time. So it's like more of like you're controlling the air and ground at the same time depending on where you're placing that can. And then you have Gunman there to just completely control the ground. And Clay Bridger can kind of do the same thing too, but uh, a lot less effective just due to how laggy it is. So those are kind of like the main differences. Obviously you have a lot more general range with Duck Hunt because uh, the way that you kind of treat his duck is kind of like a sword. It's not a sword because unfortunately the entirety of that duck is a hurt box. So you can, you can literally just straight up beat it. Beat it. So if you have a disjoint, you're gonna be doing the damage to him instead. Yeah, good on him to go for a fair there. Because doesn't really have the quickest options in the air. Oh, okay. I like that he went for that down smash, but Wrath wisely just getting out of range there. 
I guess the frame one can option. So I'm not gonna have to worry about that. It's definitely hard for Sonic to deal with duck hunt projectiles because yeah, you know one, it's not a common matchup, and then two, you know, Sonic doesn't have any other projectiles to. Well, Sonic doesn't have projectiles in general to like combat the. Yeah. Okay. Especially if the duck hunt is like playing aggressively with the cannon. But... That's not aggressively you're playing. You're playing super defensively with Duck Hunt. Like, th this is a matchup where Sonic has to be aggressive and Duck Hunt can be playing as patient as he possibly can. Because, like, he just, he just doesn't want to give Sonic his openings. Oh, yeah, yeah, that spin dash cancel. Ton of Kong coming back to bite him. Might have a jump, might not. Oh, he wanted to go for the ledge trump, but I'm able to do so. I think up might do it. Yeah. And that's it right there. Raido kind of blew over there with that, that, that failed attempt at that left stuff. Honestly, c considering that Wrath Cloud doesn't run a matchup, it, it would have been a lot safer for him just to go for uh, the ledge trap because he probably could have easily got an up air or that up tilt to just seal out the stock. Uh, Devin doesn't need to be pushing himself to go in these lengths. But, you know, Wrath probably didn't have a jump, so could have capitalized on that, but Fortunate not forget it. I'm going to FD. I consider this one to probably be the most dangerous that we have. Uh, for the matchup, because Sonic has room to run around a lot, but um, also plenty of space for Ryder to set up and just uh, create that space that he needs in order to get these projectiles out. Uh, there's two types of songs. There's the ones that ban FD, and there's the ones that ban Title Field. There's basically no one, no one between. Really, because uh, most Sonics I know don't really mind that one that much, but okay, I'm, I'm not so many Sonic players. Like, what are the ones that that you hear but we slide the band about Uh Manny Ben Battlefield. Or no, he Really? I don't no, think no, he no, does. no, 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 no. Manny definitely no, doesn't ban Battlefield. He banned he banned F D against me, and then I went Battlefield and then I F D'd <laughs> But when I when I didn't F D like before I FD'd, I had a little like I had a thirty percent lead. So that was kinda of good. <laughs> so really kind of nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was good there. You gotta have that number four speed. That's not solid. Okay, good on Rath to just roll away there, but if the timing is a little bit different on Rido's camp, it actually would have confirmed it to a grab. It's just, it doesn't have too much to do with it. Yeah, go back and you can seal it out. Rido's kind of running away with this right now. Did you see that? He was like, he did like a slide into that jump. I love that. Yeah, just like the delay that he had from it being a regular Rod just made it look so weird. I don't know why. Okay, I like that he's going for these full off camps too, because it kind of forces um, it forces Wrath to go for like a heavy commitment in order to mess with it. And the good thing with that is um, when you go for those rock can trades, you actually are winning those every single time, especially due to the fact that Wrath wasn't coming out with a move. So when you go for those can sets like that, it does 10% to your opponent and 8% of Duck Knight. Yeah, I was going to say, he's probably going to get a frame trap there. Good stuff, good stuff. A good spring from uh, Raph right there. That was the only way that he's going to really protect himself from um, getting hit. Going for those down throws again. Raph got DI'ing away. Uh, he DI'ed away that can. He still has a chance to hit it back into the can. Not should jump that time. It's an air trap. Raph keeps combating the can you know, counter attacks, but I don't think that's. So it depends. So like if, if Duck Hunt's right next to you, then he can immediately use that against you. And if you go for a move that's too committal, then he can wood punish you for it as well. So it's like, in instances, yes, it's good to mess with Cam so it messes with Duck Hunt. But the thing is, if they're already conscious that you're doing that, they can turn that against you. Kind of like the way that Pac-Man uh, does that with Hydra. Oh, he could have punished that, but just a little bit off the mark there. Good DI from Wrath right there, making himself live as long as he can. Got the set, got the setup. There's a if you get the late hit of that killed. I thought that, that was a little bit early. Wow, it's almost better than I thought. Sonic and disadvantage is like that's bad. Really bad. Yeah, no, so I'm happy that Wrath was able to capitalize on that. Yeah, let's see where Wrath opts to go. Switching to bait. Okay, this is pro. This is probably so, wiser than. Honestly, no. I, I don't agree with this. So the thing is, like, Wrath has a bail, but it's a very basic bail. At first, I would have said yes, this was a good option, because Raido was garbage at this matchup. Um, but we have labbed crap out of this, and if you saw him fighting Tweet, he was absolutely amazing at just, like, deconstructing that everything he was doing. Because the thing is, neutral-wise, Duck Hunt dominates this matchup. 
It's just there are some good things that Bayo has um, as far as punches go, but then after that, no, not at all. And you can see it in full effect right here. If you play that evasive game like properly, you play the project you place your projectiles correct, then you're gonna have a ball. Even recovering isn't like actually the worst thing in the world, just because you can can out of her uh, moves. So it's like you damage her and you damage you. So oh, he might die here now. Yeah, so the SDI on that was a bit off. And he also was at that prime percentage for that to work as well. But those are just the things you got to deal with. Oh man, yeah, you got to be set that camp. But still called out that landing. Yeah, he didn't burn his jump yet, so he's still looking good. Okay, that SDI was really good. He also did get really good SDI. Oh, he might... No, he had to charge that. What? Uh, I guess the platform was moving, so he had to let go of that. Okay, now Rat Rat's still not looking too bad. Oh, he should drop the gun. Oh, could have had the kill there. Ooh, God. So he actually did have pretty good SDI on that, but... Wrath was still able to follow up there with uh, that up air. Oh, wow, that platform. I screwed up right out. That was a really good pivot grab on that. And yeah, air dodge a little bit too early, and those bullets do catch him. <laughs> That's what the time it was at. Yeah. No, it's that one. Oh, it's just nobody's on. So, Wrath. Uh, nobody's up there. Game three, yeah. Uh, 2 1 right now for Wrath's favor. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely, I was going to say, we're definitely going to see a run back to this stage. Um, I I doubt that he's going to ban um, uh, Battlefield, but Battlefield's actually a really good stage to take Bayonetta. That was not big. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so. That's gonna beat me right now, but ooh. Okay. So right now, board throw. Yeah. So as long as right up plays a good keep away game, like as we saw at the beginning of game one, should have no problem really dealing with this fail. He has also got a he's got to improve his SDI and all those combos because like uh, I feel like a lot of those times he shouldn't be dying. And okay, now he's finally starting to use that nair um, against Cam. So the thing is, you can get around this fairly easily. All you have to do is full hop and then just wait. Oh yeah, you can't be hitting can now. But, ooh, it will just kind of sneak that one in. That a second up air not gonna do it now that it's failed. Yeah, that kind of a boy. No, I'm not doing that tactic anymore. Good spacing from Ryder right there. He's gonna have to look out for a witch hunt. Oh, that definitely was actually a really scary witch hunt, but he, he was lucky that he didn't have a can on him. So it kind of discouraged Raph from just going and trying to do anything. Oh god, that that trade almost was super scary for Ryder there, but not dying just yet. Oh god, that back air. He just barely spaced that witch hunt correctly. If he was, uh, if he went right into the gunman, that actually would have blown up on contact and would have killed him. Oh, he tried to hit an invincible bail? What are you doing? Yep, yeah, use the blinky cam. Up throw. Yes, that's gonna do it. Yeah, that's good. He's playing that up throw like the way that you need to. You use that as like your clutch um, spin maneuver. Around like um, 170 against those mid weight and lighter characters, you have some range on you. Yeah, it's, it's a move. It's a throw you won't see come up too often. But in those situations where you can't get the kill, it's much. The, the only character, like the only matchup you're gonna like just legit never see it come out of is with those like heavy characters like DPU. Okay. That's gonna be a second up there, guaranteed. Go for that can reset. Oh, yeah. Good shield by Wrath right there. Oh, yeah, he got the single hit into it, and that's gonna be a reset. So now both of them. So one thing that you can do 
to actually get the to actually get the the kill off the top where you can get that single hit um you can get that single hit kill off the top fairly easily by aiming for the the duck. So that's definitely something that you're gonna be looking out for. And it looks like they're going straight to uh, Town City. Doesn't mind it. Three, two, one, go! Let's see how it's going. Testing. Yeah, no, you're not muted. Hang on. I can't hear you. You can't hear yourself? No. Uh, no, you weren't muted. You were, you were good. It was that first one. Which one of one of these? Go ahead. At all, but, ooh, he's got him in a good edge guard situation. But. All right, testing. I can hear me. Okay, now you can go. All right, what's up, guys? Yeah. Um, okay, Rath was able to just get the reset there. Um, Switch to Bayonetta. His Sonic kind of got shambled on one game on FD. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he didn't have a jump there, so he was going to be able to make that one back. Um, honestly, Raps Bayo is doing uh, a lot better than I was expecting because uh, he uses. There's actually like his, I want to say Gumin, but he uses Sonic this is, a bit more. Yeah, yeah. No, this uh, his Bayo is a secondary. Like you can just kind of yeah. tell by the, the execution of his, of his yeah. Bayo that he, he used Bayo to take a game off of a, either one or two Lima? off of Fatality. Fatality. Okay. Yeah. Now, I remember he did a Bayo ditto at one point too, but I forgot. I forgot who was up. Um, but. Um, yeah, and I mean, one of the things oh, I, that's it. I'm kind of surprised. Nah, it's not gonna kill. <laughs> you never know with this character. Because uh, like the thing is, is like Rhino's actually been pretty good about SDI and so far, not this set. But yeah, generally that's what you're used to seeing. Like yeah. just like that, he's gonna pop out. I right, too much oh, but that's the prime yeah, percentage right now. That should be it. Oh, oh yeah, good SDI. Yeah. And that, th this is what we're uh, I was used to seeing for after that tweak match. That's gonna be it. Does Rhino yeah. play with QB and? Uh, Hero a lot? I can't remember the last time QB's had anything. How about Hero? Because I know Hero is kind of active there. I don't know how often. I know he gets to play with Abba quite a bit, so he might, have, he might he might have been able to play against his player. I forgot Abba was the player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been a little bit inactive recently, but I mean, you know, he's finally coming back. Fortunately, they didn't get that Momocon donation drive, uh, compendium funded, so he wasn't able to make it out. For Abba? Yeah, yeah, there was a compendium to get Como Abba right out to. Con, um, but you know, they didn't raise enough, so they're, they're only able to get a uh, combo and then uh, helped out right again uh, here as well. Okay. Um, ooh, unfortunately. Yeah. But, I mean, either way, we do at least have this player here right now with us. So, the main thing with this matchup is, like, future wise, it's actually not bad at all for Duck Hunt at all. But, like, the main thing is just, this is Random State's just kind of crappy, but he actually does have some useful tools. Obviously, there's a lot of Bayo combos that aren't 100% true, so you can actually count out of them. The other thing too is he's like one of the few characters that can consistently harass Bayo at ledge just because of that can. So it's like every single time she she tries to recover, she can take some damage. Really bad. Ooh, okay, so oh that was excellent SDI. Like, oh he didn't go for an air. Instead. Fair hitbox comes out a little bit late, so he kind of wonky. And I'm also happy that Rap was able to figure out he can use bullet arts to mess with can, but. He's opted to use it less now, like ever since Raido started being able to mess with him more again. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna do it. That was really good from Raido. Because yeah. he knew this he noticed uh Raph was like off guard, off the up air because he just got out of it and he's like, what? Yeah. And then he just got it smashed. Damn, just, uh, his presence awareness. Oh he didn't go for the grab. I'm not surprised about that. I guess he didn't touch his timing. There. Lucky. Oh, he got the footstool afterwards? Yeah, I was going to say, back in the hands are going to let him rip back. He had to go for one more. He ran out, though. Like, at the very end. Yeah, but, like, at that one, like, with the way that Smash Ball works, the Magna hands are just so generous with that. Yeah. But it's only something you would have for a Duck Hunt player. <laughs> I'm not going to be honest. I meddled in the Duck Hunt before. I, I remember the first time I met you, you said you had a hot dog. <laughs> he's so fun. He is. But he's so fun. Ooh. <laughs> he's so like that. I <laughs> no, yeah, so whatever you hit, for, you got, for those of you who don't know, the second you hit the can, it actually auto homes on Duck Hunt. So if you think you got like a sick combo and all that, it's just, it, that automatically happens no matter what. But you saw right. a combo I think you would know this. I was playing Wisdom earlier. And whenever oh, I, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't hear about that. I wanted to practice with, uh, for 
right off I played them. Yeah. And whenever I was next to the can, uh, I always got the little like the, like bubbles like there was a hitbox. Mm -hmm. So does it have an active hitbox like Pac-Man's hydrant? Like no, it? it doesn't. Um, it's like a it's. Uh, so it's only if you press B. Yes. So you can run if you don't press anything, you can just run across it all you want the entire time. Okay. So he has to consciously think about pressing the button in order for it to blow up on you. All right. So even if I counter it while it's just standing there? It's going to do nothing unless you press B. So he can like wait for your counter and press B, and then he can get a combo off of that. Oh, that's... Ooh, he could have... If he wanted to, he could have done 70% to him right there. But I don't know... I don't know how well he does his Clay Pigeon combos. Oh, but is it the up air, up air for him? No, 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 no. Clay Pigeon, down air, um, and then you can do... There's a bunch of things. I remember Ozone did it to... Um, it's, a, it's a thing that... Name begins with an M. I forget the name of it. Yeah, he did a fat 90% combo. No, he did a fat 75% combo there. And I was like, it was nuts. <laughs> it was probably like the distance and like bat within. So like, if he messed up, we got bat within, then probably like up be coming. Yeah. No, I mean the thing is just going for like the hair afterwards. Just, that's the safe thing to do. So if you aren't ready for it, it's like, you know, don't go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, okay. It looks like Rail's coming down. Like, SDI has been on point. Kind of has the, the neutral situations down more. Being a little bit less committal, making sure you're staying out of safe range. <laughs> Can't wait for Wrath to press the button first. Ah, there we go, yeah. He's like, he was getting witch time so much that first, sec first set. Yeah. And then uh, a little yeah, bit really good. Yeah. I think Wrath should just upbeat more. Yeah, no, I mean, if he was able to upbeat that one. Uh, the one thing I don't know is I don't know if he knows how to do the triple cut jump glitch. Oh, no, he does. Okay. Because, um... As long as you can do that, then Ah, yeah. He, he I think mean, he's able to get that cannon. I know he didn't want to hit her at all. He's just trying to hit the cam, but Wrath is in the perfect spot. This can activate. Oh. Which time? Yes. Yeah, so that, that, that's the thing. It's like it's any hitbox that it goes into her. So yeah, he's like, it's the same thing that applies to your counter. So it's like, you know, you don't press B, but it, the thing is, the can is active when it's in the air. So as long as that thing is falling, if you, if you run into it, then like, it'll blow up. Really? Yes. Okay, good on Rhino not to get greedy right there, because uh, honestly, that Witch Thumb connected to use that. You still got to play with that fear, so that... Yeah, th okay, so if you don't DI that down throw, or if you DI in, you can actually um, kill him with a down throw up there. That gun actually does have a hoo-ha. Well, that that miss Witch Thumb actually did be going just for him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, okay, good on uh, Raph to go for the bullet cancel right there, because otherwise, if he just upbeat immediately into that gunman, that camel's gonna blow up on it. I think Raph should have died there, actually. When he upbeat the gun, gunman in the cam? Um, yeah, he would have, but the thing is, like, you know, he was not That's bad, he's That's not so. Oh, he just goes for the fair? That killed out a laugh. That, that, never, that never's not supposed to kill unless he DI away. Fair? Yeah, it, it's a purely meant for just combo and just like stage control. Okay, they don't, they don't want. Yo, oh! I saw the witch time come out too. If it if it connected, I don't think he would have been able to get the kill. But actually, I could probably down. Oh man, that was close. Man, I don't... Wait, was that game two? No, it's game three, right? Oh, it's game three, yeah. So, okay, so Raido up 2-1 right now. Kind of made the unnecessary adaptation when we needed to. Going back to Smashville. Honestly, I think this is a pretty easy stage for it, so. Not too bad when we go here. Grab. Ah, okay, try to get another pair after that amount of damage. Fortunately, that can come in active again for Raido. And just um, ended up messing up that heal slide combo he was trying to go for. I think he just grabbed him out of the air. That's wild. Rhino Bones doesn't have a jump anymore, but... That was good SGI. Yeah. Whoa! That was amazing SGI right there. Oh, you aren't getting nothing off that. Yeah, good call out on that. The second that air is done, you can just punch after three. Yeah, it seems like it, like what changed between like that first set and this one is just... Projectile placements are a lot better, and just like... Presence of mind in that nature is just helping a lot better. I might be able to take a stop pretty soon now. 
See if the SCI stays good. Yeah, he's got. You guys are so lucky that nobody's trying to D out that down throw at all. Like, I think everybody's just holding in at that moment. And actually, he can use that to his advantage. So if he keeps in mind that everybody's down for, um, DIing in on that cam down throw, he can combo that into the up air for a free kill, especially yeah. at this percentage. Oh, he could have punched him. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's going to do it right there. Honestly, the, the when, I was, the so when I was playing Wisdom, I asked him if the can is inflicted by Rage, and he said sort of, not really. And I don't understand what that is. But no, the, the can is 100% affected by Rage. Really? <laughs> so, um, you know, when you have max Rage, can's going to do a lot more knockback. Um, for sure. okay. um, but it's like your general combos are still going to work around the same percentage. Yeah. Both these players are really good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, a little bit late on that. It's because uh, Raph didn't use any uppies. And what? it's only the uppies that increase the lag on her landing. That's it. I thought side B does too. Yeah, I think it's very, very little. Interesting. Uh, from what I remember, it was every single special that you use um, adds to the character. If I recall, it's uh, if you use triple jump, you're it. I think you're in as much lag. It's just the upbeats, I think, have so much lag. I don't think side views have as much. They probably do have a bit of lag, but I don't think it's as much. Okay, that's something I'd have to fact check. But right now we are in game five of game the reset. Nine. Yeah. So we'll definitely see, definitely see what Raph is able to do this time around. That's so fair, fair, thank you. That's not fair. Oof. That's a pretty smooth combo from Wrath. Right this could there. be it for real. Oh no. I think he should have just did Donna. Like, yeah. he had no reason to, like, time and time from here. Honestly, I want to see Ryoto try to can out of some of these combos, too, because I'm pretty sure a lot of those actually went true. When I played Ryoto earlier, he's not really, like, uh,. And not a hit from Heavy. No, he doesn't. He he doesn't really do that much at all. The only times he'll really go for it is like if there's a situation where he does like a back air is gonna kill him off stage. Yeah. That, that's when he does it. Other than that, he's gonna play um, It's like I can't say that he's always gonna be playing safe. It really depends on the matchup or how he's just feeling in general at the moment. Yeah. Um Ooh god, it's just he has the which times are there, but it's just a little bit off. That's it. Nah, I was about to say, as long as that probably. Is Duck Hunt like 92? Wait. Yeah, he's like one unit below Mario. Yeah. So, so. Actually, wait, no, he's he's the same way as Palton. That's what it is. So that was um, one of his favorite. Anyway, Rathic will close it out with a clean nair right there. Ooh, okay, try to get the call that. That was much better. He could have actually cut. I don't know, up tilt. No, no rage. Maybe he would have lived up tilt. Going a little bit too early with those cans, because like the reason why you want to do it late. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, he got the setup. Yep. Yeah, there's literally nothing you can do about that setup. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I felt for that setup earlier, actually. Yeah, no, against Roy, you can just you can demolish him. Yeah. I guess they spiked one. Oh, that's rough. Right. Gonna get another up air there, 46 percent. Can you SDI up air now? Um, up air, no. The, the thing is, like, if you land it improperly, you can fall out. Um, yeah, so, the size. Yeah, 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 I would say, like, if you get the extreme size, then, like, you know, there's a good chance that if, if you hold out, you, you should be out of it. Oh. But regardless, at that point, it, it should just miss. Ooh, okay, good on him really not to bite. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that was actually good. That was actually really good from both of them. Oh, no, that was really good. Oh, uh, try to call him out, but the good thing is Duck Hunt's short, so it actually is like kind of hard. when you did the uh, F smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's one of the nice. So as bad as Duck Hunt smashes can be at times, that is one of the clutch things is uh, down smash and F smash all put him into a crouch state to like Kirby height. Mm -hmm. So you can abuse that. Oh, bad DI from Wrath there. Since can has rage, is it stale? Yes. Okay. No, if it didn't sail, man, we'd be killing at 150 all the time, man. <laughs> There'd be no issues killing. Oh, no! That's it. Just a little too greedy, and that's going to do it there. No, that's game five. That was game five. That was game, that was game five. That was game five. Yeah. 
It was 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Game five. It's game, that was game five. That was the set. That was the set. That was the set. No, that was it.